How's it going YouTube? Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I wanted to do a video today on something that I find important. Uh, it's important to me because I am an animal lover, so, so to speak. Anyway, it's how to humanely euthanize a fish if you ever have to do that. Um, I had to do it about a year ago. One of my fish got his jaw stuck in uh, the power head and it dislocated his jaw. It didn't kill him and he lived, you know, he lived and I didn't know there's no way to fix that. He couldn't eat anymore, so I was forced uh, to euthanize him. And I don't have the heart to flush him down the toilet or you know freeze him or anything like that. So I researched it. And actually, my brother works at uh, one of the larger zoos in the country, and they use this. He gave me this as a tip. And actually, if you look on online, you can find info on this pretty easily. It's just if you didn't know about it, you might never even think to look. But what you can do is you can get clove oil. Here it is here, let's see if you can see that. It's simple, and it's not focusing. But all it is, that's basic clove oil. I got it off Amazon for about seven bucks. Uh, at the zoo my brother works at, they use that as a fish anesthetic. It actually, it puts fish under. And researching it, uh, it's not uncommon to be used like that. Um, so I, I tried it on mine, I put a few drops in a container about this size just big enough for the fish could turn around so he wasn't freaking out I tried to keep him as calm as possible I filled that up just enough to cover his body uh, put a few drops of that in there it stayed on top of the water like oil would on on water so you actually have to stir it in a bit it's, it's got a pretty strong smell to it and if you put them in there with a few drops you're going to see over the course of about five minutes they're going to slowly go on their side nice and calm um, they're still breathing nice and easy and it's not killing them it just puts them to sleep um, at the zoo, they actually use that to put like sharks and stingrays under if they need to do like a small a small procedure on them. Um, so I actually tried it the first time and I, it put him right to sleep. And after about five minutes, I took him out and put him in a, a bucket of fresh water again just to kind of just test it. And he came within about 20 minutes, he came right back around. I put an air stone in there with him and he came back. So in my experience, it, it, all it did was put him under, and when I let the effects wear off, he came back. So, you know, first, if you ever needed to, like, remove a small growth on a fish's lip or something like that, you could do that, and I think that would work. But as far as putting a fish under humanely, like I said, please don't flush them. Don't do anything like that. I mean, if you're keeping fish in an aquarium, they're pets to you. You know, they're not fish you caught in a lake or something. Don't treat them like that. So just put them in there, put a few drops of this clove oil. Again, I'll show it again. I think this is like seven or eight bucks on Amazon. Stir it in with them. You're going to see them go over on their side. They're, it's not hurting them. Don't freak out about it. It's just it's putting them to sleep. No different than if you went to the hospital and had surgery and they put you under. Um, once you see them completely get up on their side, they're out cold. Then, you know, do what you got to do. For me, when I had to do it, I poured vodka in there. And he was dead. He stopped breathing in literally, I don't know, 20 seconds. Granted, that's a tough way to go, but he was out cold. He didn't feel any of it. So I wouldn't have the heart to do that if he had to feel it. So like I said, that's that's just my point of view. So if you ever run into a situation, maybe you've got some deformed fry, something like that, or for any reason, you know, just, just do something that's going to be better for the fish. Keep it as calm as you can. Um, and it's, it's just, it's better for them. So just give that a try if you ever have to. Hopefully you never have to. But odds are, you know, something may happen at some point. So just put them under like that and then do what you got to do. It keeps them from suffering. So just a quick tip that I had that I've actually had to, to use before, unfortunately. So let me know what you think. And hopefully this is a, a tip or piece of advice that you never have to use. Never have to use. Excuse me. Have a nice weekend.